Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at the New Mutants Annual One from 1984. As you can see, this gorgeous, timeless Bill Sienkiewicz cover is amazing. Can't wait to show you this book. It's so much fun. Uh, it's got a lot of milestones in certain ways. Um, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. I super appreciate it. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. So it's funny, there are so many different X-Men titles and spin-offs and books, and The New Mutants um, is super popular. Um, probably one of the first uh, spin-off titles, um, the 80s, they started doing like mini-series and things, and then they're like, hey, you know, like we should do spin-offs. So The New Mutants was pretty much like the junior team of the X-Men. They had a movie a few years ago, um, tied up forever in like, um, I don't know, red tape, but finally released. I really enjoyed it. It was um, an adaptation of the Demon Bear Saga by series creator Chris Claremont and uh, innovator and cover artist here, Bill Sienkiewicz, who had an amazing run. A little divisive at the time, um, you know, obviously this is not your traditional comic book art. It's funny, but he's definitely like an innovator and someone who paved the way for um, this type of art, this kind of vibe to be like normalized, even painted art really. Um, you know, he really wanted to paint Electro Assassin and I think that was like one of the first painted comic books. And um, obviously it's just gorgeous. I've always loved Bill Sienkiewicz. This cover is New Mutants Annual One. Um, we have the classic head box over here with uh, actual Bill Sienkiewicz um, drawings. I swear I just wiped down this counter. Anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, and then, you know, Marvel Annual. The annuals were always good, especially in the 80s. They were just like superior. I love the New Mutants Annual. Um, Bill Sienkiewicz was uh, on the book at the time as the artist, I believe, when this came out. And so he did the cover and the interior is, is exciting because it's written by Chris Claremont and then it's uh, penciled and co-inked by Bob McLeod, um, who co-created the New Mutants with uh, Chris Claremont and only stayed on the book. He did the graphic novel and then he stayed on the book for the, like the first four or five issues. I think it was only four, but I always enjoyed his art. I thought it was great. Um, so we have Chris Claremont, writer, co-creators, Bob McLeod, um, Bob McLeod and Tom Palmer, anchors. Um, I think Tom Palmer's probably a good choice for, uh, Bob McLeod's ink, so we'll find out. I love the texture he's using. Um, he definitely, it's funny because he works as a penciler, anchor, sometimes penciler, sometimes anchor, so he's like a well-rounded, um, artist, but he definitely has his inking chops, he, you know, using these textures, which was probably a zip -a tone and then just the dry brush work here and the inking is really impressive. I love this splash page of Cannonball. I mean, this has all the classic hallmarks of why I love comics and why I think they've lost a lot of their charm and uniqueness in recent years, just because I feel like um, they feel compelled to mirror movies or just, I don't know, be more cutting edge or something. And, you know, so we don't always get story titles. We don't always get captions. We don't get thought balloons. You know, I hear tell of getting rid of sound effects, which I think is preposterous. I think comic book lettering is beautiful, especially hand lettering and just hopefully we'll come across some good sound effects to illustrate my point. This is such classic New Mutants. I love this. Um, Ilyana's on the team, one of my favorite characters, a classic danger room scene, um, which is just so funny. Like, I mean, how rich was Xavier? Like, I guess, you know, the unspoken thing is, I suppose he could influence, did they ever mention that? I'm sure they must have. Like, I mean, as a, a telepath who's able to, you know, change people's minds per se, um, uh, it's questionable how he has his money, in my mind, anyway. I'm sure it's been explained, but you would think I knew or cared more, but I don't. Anyway, here's Danny Moonstar, another favorite uh, founding mother of the New Mutants, and um, 
using her power to bring out um, fears out of people's brains, fears and desires. And this is a fear, the alien brood. That was such a brutal um, storyline for the X-Men and the New Mutants. It feels like they definitely went through a lot through that storyline. I love Bob McLeod's uh, art, just very classic, like superhero art, but just very much a master of his craft and such a great anchor and like delineator. Lila Chenny, I believe this is the fir this is the first appearance of Lila Chenny, so it's definitely noteworthy for that. Stevie Hunter, the dance instructor who uh, was Kitty's dance instructor, and she kind of worked with the X Men and the New Mutants a lot. One of the human um, allies of the of the New Mutants and the X Men. I love the texture he put in his shirt here. Like this is just like classic inking kind of things going on here. And just like the zip tone for the shadows. I love this effect with the mirrors. Like that's such a hallmark of like a dance studio with the multiple images right there. Roberto de, Roberto de Costa, the Brazilian um, mutant known as Sunspot. One of my favorite characters. I love him. He's so handsome there drawn by um, <clears throat> Bob. He's supposed to be, you know, like a sort of like a debonair kind of playboy i guess um secret wars i love that this is the ad for the action figure i don't know not a very great ad but i feel like the whole secret wars thing was kind of rushed um even though i did love it the series the figures everything about it the sequel i know judge me i don't care did we say who the colorist was i'm sure we did but i don't want to glaze over that too much Sharon, Bob Sharon colors. Oh, interesting to note that Bob McLeod is also the letterer. So he's definitely like a well-rounded artist. Um, aside from him like coloring, I think the cover to the New Mutants graphic novel, I'm not sure how much he would foray into coloring. Interesting enough to, this shows the juxtaposition between like the classic superhero art that Bob McLeod brings versus like the sub uh, the really out there sort of surreal abstract um, sensibility of Bill Sienkiewicz. Like Bill, Bill is aesthetic is perfect for Warlock. He created the character and um, I was never a huge fan of the way Bob McLeod depicted him. It just translates weird into, I mean, even though it doesn't look bad, it's just funny. This is great here. I love this. And see, this is another example of like, the fun of comics, how you just get like this full transition shot of Rain becoming Wolfsbane. I just love that. That's so much fun. Another hallmark of like comic books of yesteryear, people just randomly kissing people for no reason against their wishes. Definitely before Me Too. I love this effect here. I'm guessing that would have been done with a, a screen as well. Maybe on a, and then like with a color hold. But I've actually even seen Bill Sienkiewicz use something like that. So, I mean, you know, that's the beauty of comic book art. It's like, there's just so many different styles, techniques and tools and um, gimmicks and features at your disposal. See like that to me is not a great warlock face, but whatever, I don't know. I suspect maybe this is some of the, a page inked by Tom Palmer. It looks a lot like the kind of, yeah, that is for sure a screen he would use. Like I'm thinking John Buscema on uh, Avengers, which I love their run together. So very funny, like fun story, Steal This Planet, a rock fable. It's basically introducing Lila Cheney to the X-Men universe who would become Sam's girlfriend for a while, I think. I love this splash page. That is so fun. That is like so European, so par Parisian, being on the balcony, um, but you know, in outer space. And then I have to say like, even though I don't like particularly the warlock look, like that is a very cool image right there with the spaceship. 
warlock becoming like a spaceship and then just this fun like view of space i've always loved like um the way different artists draw like you know outer space and like just you know the variety of comic book art that exists even when the the styles are similar in some regard chris claremont never missed an opportunity to dress up people up in leather hmm Magma, I love this character too. Another one introduced, was she introduced when Bob McLeod was on? I think maybe just starting, I don't know. I don't know what his hand in was in creating her, but I just love the New Mutants. It's fun, they were so different. It's like, I feel like they were so unique and um, such a great diverse cast of characters that um, it made them really stand out and that's like a testament to not only the visuals of the looks but really you know Chris Claremont as a writer and being able to flesh out characters and make them so distinct that even though they wore you know the school uniforms they all seem so special in their own right especially since a lot of them have you know like transformation kind of powers that they look very different when they're using their powers like Rain becomes a wolf, Sunspot goes all black with the sunspots around him Eliana would eventually it's funny because see another thing like introduced by Bill Sienkiewicz that sort of looks a little um pedestrian when a more classic kind of comic book artist does it is like Eliana with her soul sword and how mm, she sort of uh started um getting armor too which I don't know if, if how much he ever made the connection. Like, was that possibly because she's, you know, um, obviously it's enchanted, but is it because she's Colossus's sister and it's like organic steel or something? I don't know. Interesting stuff. Anyway, I mean, the, you know, the X-Men history and like, just like the minutia of everything Chris Claremont recreated over... 17 years plus, you know, I'm sure another decade uh, coming back, you know, he's not out of the um, game yet. He's got a new Gambit series coming that kind of explores the time when it was like Adolescent Aurora, which not excited about the concept, but I do love the character of Gambit and I think Wills Portacio is drawing it. So I'll be excited about that. I'm looking forward to it. I'm always willing to give CC a chance, right? I mean, he's given us so much over the years. This is a fun scene. I like this. I like this kind of art, like where it's very, I don't know, relying heavily on like a uh, negative space and shadows and things like that. I think it just shows off the ability of the artists during those moments. Love that face on Amara right there. So much fun. And Doug, I love Doug. And Sam's leather daddy look is kind of growing on me, I have to say. I felt like Guido was introduced here, but maybe that was in the actual pages of the New Mutants. I think it was the actual New Mutants. Anyway, so that is New Mutants Annual 1 from 1984. A true classic. Um, bringing together Chris Claremont, Bill Sienkiewicz, and Bob McLeod. And it's amazing. First appearance of Lila Chani and a totally fun story. Totally worth checking out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share my content, and I'll bring you some more soon. All right.